Hey guys, I did it. I figured out how to start a live stream. Just like I have to figure it out for the first time every time. Um, almost. Okay, there we are. Okay, I've got the chat on the screen. I've got my face on the screen. We're ready to go. Ready to blast off with this live stream. Kicking it off. Hardcore. Woo! As you can tell, I'm excited because I don't... I don't do live streaming. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Here come the comments. And uh, so you guys know, I do have slow chat turned on, so you can do one comment every 30 seconds or something like that, just so you guys don't go crazy. But yes, hello, hello. I'm not even going to start screaming out the usernames, because I just got wonderful, beautiful hellos from about 200 people right now. How's everyone doing? I think this jacket is fake leather, Mr. Fifth String. Um, yeah, how's everyone doing? Sorry for that humming. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I've got my Anycubic i3 Mega in the background there, and it takes takes a while for the fan to get fully running or something. It makes some noise. But anyways, just to uh, set the scenario for you guys, I'm in New Orleans. I just arrived here today, like four or five hours ago. Took a shuttle from the airport, so it took me like two hours to get here. I'm drinking a Fat Tuesday Hurricane, which is alcohol, which is bad. But it's also the best way to make terrible mistakes on a live stream where everything is entirely preserved for all of eternity, the moment that it happens. Um, yeah, I'm here for an event. I don't know how much I'm allowed to say about it, and I don't really know how much I want to say about it. I don't even know what the event is, but I'm basically like entertainment for an after party. It paid me to come down here, 3D print stuff, 3D pen draw stuff, so that's cool. Why would I say no? Sounds fun. Um, so, the question is, what are we going to do today on this live stream? I wish I could make this chat full screen. Oh, there is a way to pop it out. But is there a way to make it stay on top? I really need to figure out my live stream game for real. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I don't know how people do this. I don't know how people live stream. I'm trying to read one thing and then there's 10 more things to read. But hey, thanks. I'm seeing a lot of compliments and that's cool. I do want to review the Prusa i3 or even the or MK3 or the MK2 or the multi multi material update upgrade all of those. But I'm having a hard time reaching Mr. Uh, Josef Prusa to get a printer from him. What am I doing? That's what we have to decide, guys. We gotta decide it as a team. There's no way to like set up a poll or anything, is there? Cause I'm in the room. We're in a hotel room. We got it all to ourselves, guys, so we can do we got a printer back here. Uh I don't exactly want to model something in Fusion 360 right now, because I'm just on my laptop and I'm already taking up the whole screen trying to figure out this live stream. But I do have 3D pens, so we can do 3D pen stuff. I could just draw things. I've got paper, I've got pens. I haven't done that. I think those are kind of the two main options as far as being related to the channel. Um, but you know, past live streams I've done, I've like done some freestyling, I've done some uh, guitar playing. Hopefully we'll avoid that this time. Uh, <coughs> I'm not gonna make a 3D pen dragon. I already 3D sculpted a dragon in the la last live stream. See, this is why it's impossible. I make suggestions and then people tell me to do all the suggestions. This is gonna be fun. I'm just gonna. I'm just live here complaining about how difficult it is to live stream. No, I think we'll do some 3D pen stuff. 
probably makes the most sense. But now that, okay, I just assembled this printer. So I was asked to bring a 3D printer. I chose the i3 Mega because it's small enough to fit in my luggage and it's pretty sturdy. So I was like, all right, perfect. I can disassemble it into two parts in like 10 minutes and actually just reassemble it with eight screws, which is super cool. But I just tried to start a print like one minute before the live stream and uh, only one of the Z axis axes was going down out of the two. So maybe I should figure that out and get a print started and then we can do some 3D pen stuff and chat if I can learn how to read this speedy scroll of chat texts. Maybe I just have to select random ones, okay? I'm gonna start reading random chats and it's not nothing to do with whether yours is good or bad, it's just the one that I can focus on. No, just kidding, bad, bad, those are all bad. I'm ignoring those. Just kidding. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. I already did a 3D pen drawing of myself. Draw a mustache. I wonder if I can... I've wanted to do a, like a, a mask, a 3D pen mask, where I use like one of the low temperature pens and actually draw my face. But uh, I don't have one of the low temperature pens, so we can't do that. I can't make a 3D pen with a 3D pen. I mean, maybe I could, but I don't have the motors and stuff to actually do that. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are just trolling me or if you actually want to see that. Hey, thanks, James. You're a patron, and you give me a $2 tip. You're a cool guy. I appreciate it. Speaking of which, speaking of Patreon, man, Patreon's a confusing and interesting thing. Like, a lot of people are for it, a lot of people are very against it. I might be switching over at some point. Because um, I work pretty closely with my mini factory, and they want to get something going that's similar to Patreon, but more specific to 3D printing and like being able to get out exclusive designs and stuff, and I think that would be fun. Except not everyone who supports me on Patreon actually owns a 3D printer. So, I don't know if that would be a, a good reward to get exclusive 3D printing designs. And I also like to make all my designs public for free because, shoot, I want to make stuff available for everyone. Okay, 3D pen cats. I'm seeing a lot of pandas and cats and animals. You guys like animals? Of course. Who doesn't? Hey, Split Mask. Thank you. You've been watching me for two years. That's impressive. I lost track of how long I've been doing this channel, but yeah, at least two years. I think technically it says I started my channel in 2014, but I don't know if that's true. I think that's just when I made my uh, Google Plus account or something. A 3D pen duck. Okay. Hedgehog, that'd be cool. Or dog, or are oh, you saying draw it? Whew. Okay, we're gonna do a 3D pen animal. That's settled. What the specific animal is, we don't know yet. First things first, I'm gonna see if I can get this thing to start a print now. Follow me to the 3D pen printer. Okay, seems to be working now. I think one of the cables was just in the way. Yeah, looks good now. So I, mean, I, uh, I just used Simplify 3D to slice up one of my Galactops. I figured I could print a few of those to give away at, at the event that I'm part of tomorrow, because that's a good little thing to give away, right? So let's go ahead and print a Galactop. Hopefully that's not too noisy. All right, all right, all right. I want to figure out some kind of, I don't know how I can have some kind of competition or some way to decide what I'm going to do. Because there's so many options and they're all good. 
Becca, the sea turtle. That would be fun. Sea turtle be, would be fun. Snail? Well, Camille, you will be very happy with my video on Thursday because there's a lot of snails in that video. I'll tell you that much. Animals, animals. There's so many animals. Okay, we need to figure out how we're going to do this. Hmm. I guess I should decide, right? But it's hard. I've seen a lot of good options. I'm seeing a lot of pandas. Which I guess I could do. It's just black and white. Maybe we'll do little ones. Maybe we can get multiple done tonight. I don't know how long this live stream is going to last, but I'll just do it for as long as I'm bored. Uh, Matt, thanks for the uh, thanks for that donation. It's so generous, my friend. Oh, no. 2 a.m. in Germany. That's the thing that sucks about live streams is I can't... I wish I could live stream at a convenient time all across the world, but I can't do that. But yeah, Matt, Matt, Matt Clint, feeling dunk, feeling dunk. Uh, that's so awesome that I got you into 3D printing and you're already at two printers. See, I didn't even have two 3D printers until until I started my channel and got sponsored. Like, I got a printer sent to me for review. Until then, I had one printer and I made a lot of use out of it. Uh oh, printer's making a weird clicking noise. Looks like the first layer is a little too close to the bed, so uh, it's clicking, but I think it'll survive. That's actually not the worst problem. With the ultra base that uh, the i3 Mega uses, even if a print is like smooshed into the build plate, it's still pretty easy to take it off once it's cooled down. But maybe I'll make some adjustments. People make it sound so difficult. People make it sound so difficult to level your build plate. But really, you do that little thing where you put the paper underneath the nozzle until it, it like grabs, and that gets you started. But then you start a simple print and just adjust the knobs while it's printing, and that's how you get a level build plate. Thank you, Mr. Jaspers. I don't know how to pronounce the first name, so I'm just going to call you Mr. Jaspers. I'm glad I got you. I love, man, it's awesome. If you guys ever fall in love with something and are able to share it with the world and like get other people into it, it's super satisfying. So highly recommended. I know this YouTube uh, business is pretty hit or miss. It's a little bit of luck and a little bit of combining different skills, but super satisfying to like get people into something that you're so excited about like I am with 3D printing. Dude, I bet that printer doesn't sound too loud for you guys, but for me, it's just like, Bleh. It's the one thing. It, I don't think that printer was always so loud. I don't know if there's dust and, like, hairs or whatever caught in one of the fans. It sounds like it's coming from the fan on the inside. I really look like Ferris Bueller. I've gotten that since I was a child. It's one of my favorite movies, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, so... It's a pretty sweet compliment, I guess. Do, do. Thanks, Nick. Nick is my patron, and he helps. He's helping the fight against intellectual property theft from he who shall not be named, trying to steal my projects and put them on Kickstarter. Even after I told him I was already working on it. But hey, some people. The ax axolotl. I know what you're talking about. I don't know how to pronounce it, but that thing is cool. I was actually thinking of like doing a water bear. I know I made a pixel for someone of the water bear, but I thought it would be really fun to make with a 3D pen. The axolotl, however it is pronounced, that would be fun too. Maybe I'll go with that. 
I know I know a lot of people said panda, but that sounds a little more fun. Sorry. Panda, I mean pandas are super cute, but as far as like a challenging thing to draw with my 3D pen, I don't know. I know okay. Ooh, a random animal generator. That's an interesting idea. Maybe I should Google that. I like that, because I suck at making decisions. So if I can have a computer make the decision for me, Google random animal generator. I don't know if there's any way to like screencast so you guys can see what I, what I see, but you're just going to have to trust me. OK, quantity. So let's pick, OK, I'm using randomlists.com, and we're going to create a list of six random animals, and then from those, we're going to have to choose as a team. Sound good? I hope so. I wish I could show you the animals, though, because you're not going to be able to see them. But I already have a feeling who's going to win this list. OK, I got the list. Everyone ready? Here are our six options for the animal that I'm going to draw with a 3D pen tonight. In like five minutes, I'm actually going to go get my 3D pen and start this instead of just talking endlessly. <laughs> so our six animals. We have the mouse. Two is the duck-billed platypus. Three is the oryx, which is like it's a pretty cool-looking goat-like thing. Crazy long horns, O R Y X. For anyone who's following along, and wants to look it up. We've got mouse, platypus, oryx. Four is an alligator. That would actually be pretty fun too. That'd be a good one to do with the 3D pen because it's like flat but not really. Then we got the musk ox. The musk ox, which is looks like a like a buffalo mixed with a chinchilla. And animal number six is the muskrat. Muskrat. Which actually just looks like an, an uglier chinchilla. So, those are our options. We could draw a mouse, a platypus, an oryx, alligator, musk ox, or musk rat. What a coincidence. Two musk animals, the musk ox and the musk rat. I think there's like three of those that I'm excited about, but I'm going to let you guys voice your opinions if I can. I lost the chat, to be honest. OK. Yep, here we go. I'm seeing a lot of, ooh, it's hard to count. I need a, I need a little app that counts for me, but um, looks like alligator and the platypus are top in the list so far. I'm getting a lot of oryxes too, which is surprising because I, I never heard of that before. Hmm, now all the oryx is coming. You guys Googled it and you found out what it is. It's pretty cool. Should we do all three? Is anyone going to be able to hang out long enough for me to do three animals? All right, tell you what. It looks pretty solid, at least those three, the platypus, the alligator, and the oryx. I'm going to try to do all three tonight, but no promises. And it's hard to say what's first. Oh. Okay, it looks like Oryx is definitely on top now. So we're going to start with the Oryx, and then we'll go from there. Let me finish up my drink. Not finish it, but... This is cool, by the way, guys. I flew in today. They flew me in a day early because they want me to set up early-ish tomorrow morning, and I couldn't get a direct flight for the morning so they're like all right come in a day before i was a bit iffy about it i'm not exactly the most socialite person who's gonna just go out alone into the streets of new orleans and hope that good things happen and not that i get mugged so i was like oh i'm gonna be stuck in my hotel room live stream 
Now I'm hanging out with a hundred people. All right, let's make an Oryx. I will be back in two seconds. Not that's not true. I'm not that fast. I will be back in 27 seconds. I think I was a little faster. I was gonna wait. I was actually gonna count to 27 and wait. But then I was like, wait, I'm making people stare at this ugly wallpaper for 27 seconds. Okay, I got my 3D pen. I actually have never tried this pen yet. It's the 3D Mate 1. I have used the 3D Mat, the 3D Mate Mat, but I haven't used the 3D Mate pen. It looks pretty cool. It's tiny. It feels all right. The shape kind of reminds me of my laser pen, actually, which is like, you wouldn't think it's so comfortable, but it kind of works. And, you know, I'm, I'm on the road, so to say. I don't have all my colors with me, but I do have a little fun variety pack there, and I do have a big spool of white. So I'm going to start build in this guy all with white, and then I can add, I mean, the Oryx, I could probably just do it black and white. Dude, oh my god, I didn't even bring black. I don't have any black filament, so this Oryx is going to have some different colored horns. We'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. But for now, we're going to start with white and uh, start the base, and I'll point the camera down in a second. I don't know, the 3D mat is really good for drawing in these grooves, but I haven't tried just drawing on top of it. I'm going to turn it upside down and see if things stick to it. It might not stick because it's silicone. I think it's made, it's intentionally made not to have things stick to it, but we'll see. The print's coming out good. I wish I could switch between my webcam on my laptop and my webcam on my phone midstream. Thanks for the tip, Chris. Appreciate it. I sorry about the panda. A lot of people ask for pandas and I just kind of kind of dropped the ball on that. Because, I don't know. Pandas are cool, but they're a bit... Uh, I'm not going to say overrated. They're not overrated, but they are like... They get the amount of attention they deserve. But then there's the Oryx, which I never heard about, and it looks sweet. So we got to give the Oryx some attention. All right. USB plug. USB cable. You guys know how 3D pens work. Let's plug this boy in. And the, the, the power strip on this lamp, it says caution. Total maximum load of receptance, 600 watts. So hopefully charging my laptop and running this pen. I don't think there's any way that it's 600 watts, but I don't know a thing about electricity. So hopefully I don't like lose power. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, though, if I took out power in a hotel. The axolotl, axolotl, axolotl. That's another cool animal, but it wasn't one of the randomly generated ones. So that'll have to wait. Maybe I'll make an actual video about it versus whatever this mess of a live stream is. What's up, Alex? Yo! That's my cousin, Setnam. I think. I'm guessing. Ooh, this thing gets hot fast. Sweet. Yeah. I'm not drunk. 
I'm drinking alcohol, but I'm not drunk. But let me finish this, though. Is this pen like the scribbler? I don't know what you mean by that. It's, it's more simple. So this pen has got four buttons. So there's just like feed filament, retract filament, and you can double click them to make it like continue feeding automatically. And then these back arrows, I don't know why they're arrows because they're not actually indicating a direction, but one of them switches between PLA and ABS filament. So basically just two temperature settings. And the other one lets you adjust the speed. And there are three speed settings. I only tried it for a second, but they all seem relatively quick, which is good if you're trying to fill things in, as long as you can handle the slow one as the fast one. You know? No, that didn't make any sense. As long as the slowest setting isn't too fast, it's good to have fast settings, is what I'm trying to say. This jacket is from Zara Men. Zara Men. So it it was expensive, but not as expensive as it looks. And hopefully sewn by an adult and not a, a child. Ugh. Sad. It's hard for me to do requests when people want me to review specific pens because there's like hundreds of 3D pens out there. Am I taking long enough for you guys to get started on this project? Shoot. All right, we got a brand new spool of filament here. This is a new filament. I haven't tried it before. It's AMZ 3D. Amaze 3D, I guess is how you would pronounce it. I got it because it was cheap on Amazon. Just being honest, I don't know a thing about the quality. Okay, that print is kind of failing. So I guess it's not failing, but it's peeling off of the build plate which is what happens when you start printing with it too close to the build plate. Nathan, I'm doing, I have two episodes of how to make anything coming up soon. Two very great videos on some nice, basic, straightforward, in-depth tutorials on how to use Fusion 360 so that anyone can do it. I love those, I love that series, but it, um, it took me a while to think up some more projects it's a tough series because I want to come up with projects that most people would be excited to do. Because if you aren't interested, then how are you going to learn? Okay, the print just completely failed now. <laughs> I got to show you. It came off. Can you see that? So the interesting thing, it's kind of counter counterintuitive. But with 3D printers, bed adhesion is something that a lot of people struggle with, getting things to stick to the build plate. And it is, I mean, I was saying earlier, it's not that tough, but obviously I was wrong. No, it's, it isn't that tough, as long as you're willing to do a few test prints and figure it out. But the weird thing is that if you actually print too close then it won't stick as well. You'd think that's not a problem of being too close to the build plate, but it is. So let me quickly start this over. And if it doesn't work this time, I'm just going to turn the printer off and because the noise is annoying anyways, and I can smell the plastic fumes that are filling up this hotel room slowly. But right now, before I start the print, I'm just going to quickly turn all of the adjustment knobs a few turns. Just... Based on my experience, I think like half a turn should lower it enough for that to work a little better. All right, this pen's still running. It doesn't go to sleep. A lot of pens that I use, they'll automatically go to sleep after a few seconds of not using them. 
in order to not burn out. We'll see what happens with this one. Now's the tough part where I have to show everything at once. I want to show what I'm doing. Can I lower this chair? A little bit. Down we go. So I'm going to just take a few rolls off of this spool so that I don't have to worry about the spool. I can just print with this. Boop, boop, boop. Looks good. Oof, sorry. It's hard to keep up with the comments. The CR-10S is a great printer. Which do I like better? This i3 Mega is a great printer. I have very few complaints about it. But I think, the C well, I mean, yeah, look at my favorites list on my website. The CR-10 is still my all-time favorite because it just does everything so well. And it's got such a massive build volume compared to other printers in that price range, which I love. I love being able to print big things even if I don't always have to. And when it comes to like printing smaller things, it handles the job great as well. The one thing I do like more about the i3 Mega is that Ultra Base build plate. Glass works really well, but the Ultra Base is stellar. Even though the last print wasn't sticking. We'll see how this one does. Actually, you know what? It looks like I... I don't know what's happening. Oh! Ah! The pen started doing things. I think it fell asleep. So it does fall asleep. Sorry! Ah! Everything's happening! I'm trying to print one of my Galactops, but I realized that I accidentally did the wrong file. So I started printing something else. Tools, home, atonement. Yeah, I accidentally started the wrong file, but the good news is that the first layer looked like it was coming out good. So we'll try it again, and if it still doesn't stick, then I just have to clean it with, like, isopropyl alcohol works the best, rubbing alcohol, but I don't have any of that with me. You could just use warm, soapy water. Clean the build plate with that, and it'll help things stick. Anyways, let me get this started. Tell me about yourselves. Where are you all coming from? What time is it where you are? Because here in New Orleans, it's 8 p.m., which means it might be really late for some of you, and I don't think it's too early for many other people. When's the best time for me to live stream? I don't know. When can I reach everyone? People in Europe. What time is it in Europe? The guy in Germany said it was like 2 or 3 in the morning. All right, all right, all right. Starting this print. Proper one. Only 3 p.m. in Hawaii. Well, that's awesome for you, but I, I kind of means I'm timing this wrong because it's 3 p.m. for very few other people. And it's, I can see it's very early in the morning for others. One and two in the morning. So I feel like I'm going to lose a lot of you in the next hour or so. I'll probably stream for another two hours. And even then, I might only get my... What's that animal called? What are we drawing? An ox still? Ox? Oh, no. Onyx. No, that's a Pokemon. Shoot, I forgot the name of the animal we're drawing. <laughs> 9 p.m. in Kentucky. It's also a Sunday. You guys have school in the morning and stuff. What a terrible idea for me to live stream, right? Is it an onyx? It's not an onyx. <laughs> Oryx. Thank you. Ah. The print screwed up again. So, I'm just going to turn it off for now. I have all morning tomorrow to figure it out. And I would rather not do something so boring right now while I'm live streaming. Ah, 
Off she goes. All right. Oh, that feels so good. The silence. Ah. Oh. What 3D pen do I prefer? I do have a list. If you visit my website, makeanything.design, if you go to the favorites section, then uh, I have a list of all my favorite 3D pens and 3D printers ranked. But uh, short answer is that the Scribbler is probably my favorite 3D pen. Just spit all over my computer. And CR10 is my favorite printer. No school tomorrow. Ah, oh, yeah, Sophia. Good for you. Why are my eyes red? Because I never sleep. That's what happens when you have so many ideas and things you want to print. No time to sleep. Holly, don't fall asleep in class tomorrow. I'm trying to be an educator. I don't want to be a bad influence and have you guys. Ooh. Okay. Brain freeze. Oh. Oh. All right. Let's plug this pen back in. And let me look up this Oryx that we're drawing. So I have a reference photo. If you guys saw that guide on make anything that design. It's always good to have reference photos of what you are drawing, unless you're like super familiar with it. But the Oryx, I am not. So I'm going to look up some good photos of it. Looks like they're usually like tan or brownish, but there are some white ones. And I'm going to go with white because I have white filament. Oh, here we go. Google Images is awesome. We're going to be drawing the Arabian Oryx because it's white. No racism intended. All right. So the body really is just like a goat. And then it's got these awesome, long, straight horns. Or they're slightly curved. But we're going to be drawing ourselves an Arabian Oryx. Let's do it. I'm just pulling up a photo right now. And I also need to start closing random windows that are open on my computer. Chris, thanks for the tip. Pegboard pixels. There's always more coming, but yeah. Those are a lot of work, so I try to spread out the time between doing them because they just take so long. <laughs> But everyone who is a patron and who wanted me to do uh, a pixel or sent in a request for me, I will get to them eventually. Kumalin, you're pursuing product design. That's awesome. Yes, I did go to Art Center. Product design is so fun. If you're, if you're an artistic person, you should really look into just some kind of design. It's the perfect like combination of artistry and creating something functional. All right, so I've got finally got the three D pen loaded, ready to go. It only took me forty minutes. I'm, I actually thought it was longer than that. So this pen is extrudes well. Ah, it's hot. Oh. Ah, extrudes well, but uh, it does make some noise. I'm not really doing a pen review right now, but might as well let you guys know. All right. I know. Sorry, I haven't been show. I haven't been pointing down, but look, I've done nothing. So now we're gonna. Look. And I know you guys see all these lines here, but this mat is actually upside down, so the grooves are on the bottom. This is just a flat sheet of silicone right now. And let's just see. Quick test. Yeah, things do stick to it pretty well. So that's very cool. So let's go ahead and draw an Oryx. I'll just keep switching between pointing up and down. I just want to say 
if normally I would probably sketch out the profile of the animal that I'm drawing and then put a clear sheet over that with some kind of clear plastic sheet and then draw over that. But I'm just going to try to freehand it. I'm going to pull up my trash can. So with this Oryx, um, we're going to have him standing and turning his head to the side, which means I'm going to draw the head separately. So first I'm going to draw the body. I'm just going to draw a profile of the body. Basically, I'm going to draw an Oryx without a head, which will look very strange at first. But I think that's the best way to approach this. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm just going to point the camera down, and that means you're going to see everything upside down. But I hope that's not too terrible. Let me know if it's just not working, but uh, hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. So just point this down right up here. And let me pull up my picture of this Oryx, which, oh, I should have my phone. Anyways, this might not be the best thing I've made. But basically, he's got, like, this humpback a bit. Let's not make him too big, otherwise I'll really never finish it. And I'll go over this twice just to make it a little sturdier. So it just looks like a deformed potato right now, but trust me, this is the body of the Oryx. And let's do some legs while we're at it. Actually, well... See, we're kind of drawing the middle cross section and the legs are on the left and right, so we're going to add those on separately as well. So this is actually all we need to start out, is this, the, the main body. And uh, I'm going to draw, well, we're going to do the cross section too. So I'm just going to kind of draw that down here to the side. I'm just going to draw a loop, basically. Burp, burp, burp. Oh, it's okay to try more than once. So we got the neck, and then it gets a little wider for the body. Just something like that. Burp, burp, burp. So again, I went over it twice just to make it a little stronger. And uh, so basically, I'm just imagining if I just took the body of this animal, remove the head, remove the legs, this is what it would look like from the side, and this is what it would look like from the top. And now, after they've cooled down a bit, I can just stick them together like that and combine it. And that will give me a good basis for uh, making the rest of this. So I'm just going to kind of hold it with my hand really quickly and add a glob. Just a glob there to hold it into place, and then I'll add a glob back here as well. And I recently made a page on my website about this. It's my uh, patented technique. Put a glob down there. That's all it takes. One glob at the front, one glob at the back. I got my clippers so that I can clean up any extra stuff. And that already gives me like a good amount of work. It doesn't look like much, but I've got the side view and I've got the top view, and now I just have to fill it in. Rip. Ugh. I missed you guys. I gotta tilt up for a second. Read the comments. I'm printing with ABS right now, Mr. Bacon Roll. Um, no. Wow, why did I say that? I'm printing with PLA, and I almost always use PLA, whether it's 3D printing or using the 3D pen, because it's a biodegradable plastic. Even though it takes a really long time to biodegrade, it's still, as far as I know, it's more environmentally friendly than 
uh, ABS or the other common plastics. So I, I try to use PLA exclusively. It works pretty well for everything I do. MLX Rampage, thank you so much for the tip and for the compliment. Your favorite YouTuber, very high regard. I appreciate that. Okay, we got this. Let me try doing some of the work up here. So now we got the cross sections, and now it's just we got a bridge. So I'm just going to zigzag. You basically, you know, if you look at it this way, you see I've got an X, and I basically have four sections. So I'm going to go and fill one section at a time with a very uh, kind of sloppy zigzag just to start filling it in. So I'll just start at one end and just zigzag. And you got to be quick, otherwise it'll start to droop. So you got to kind of do do do. Just like that. Very quick zigzag. I might go over each side twice because that is a little... I might want a little bit more. But I'm just creating these... Nah, creating these uh, fills so that I can add sections and start rounding things out. So let's do all of these sides. And it's okay to be sloppy, like, this isn't really about precision. Of course you want to be as clean as you can, but it's about slowly working your way towards an end result. So, that's pretty true for every medium of art. Like, a lot of people get discouraged because they get halfway through a painting or a drawing and they decide that they hate it. But it's not over until it's over. Something can look really terrible until, like, it's 90% done, and then it'll finally start to look good. Just like this lumpy potato here will be an oryx before you know it. So let's go ahead and keep doing that zigzagging. There we go. I got all four sides now. See how quick that was? Sorry, I'm reading the comments for a second. What is an oryx? I don't know. <laughs> it is a, an animal with horns. That looks pretty cool. All right, yeah, I'm going to go over this a little bit more just to make it, well, actually not necessary. So now I've got it. I've got four sections, and they've got like a, a flat side, basically. It's not a real face, but it's enough for me to start adding walls in between each of the four sections. And once I'm done with that, I'll have eight sections. And that helps me round things out. So let's go ahead and add some straight lines. I'm sorry, I, I could try to point it towards you guys, but I'm also trying not to do a terrible job. I'm just going to go back and forth in between the other two sections. I'm basically adding another section in between the other ones, and that's why I did the zigzags. I have something to draw this new wall on top of. And you can grab it while it's still semi-pliable and try to get the shape working. You can jump between sections. While that cools down, I can start another section, and then I can go back and forth. You just kind of, uh, it's the same thing they teach you when you're drawing. You don't want to, like, if you're drawing someone's face, you don't want to draw a super detailed eye and then work out. You kind of want to start roughing the whole thing out and then slowly add detail here and there. And that's exactly the same thing that we want to do with the 3D pen. I'm going to start adding sections all around this guy. And this definitely requires patience, but you know, that's how it is. Trying to read the comments. Monoprice. I don't know if it's like their policy, but Monoprice doesn't seem to really send out printers for review. And quite frankly, I have so many offers from companies to send me printers to review them 
maybe I don't know if it's messed up, but I'm not willing to buy a printer for the sake of a review because I already have more printers than I could possibly want. So I, I'm like, if a printer, if a company doesn't want to send me their printer, I can't really review it. And Monoprice doesn't really send, seem to send out a lot of printers for review. I wish I could review it because a lot of people recommend it as like a relatively cheap printer. Maybe if you guys, you guys should just email Monoprice and say, hey, we want to make anything to do a review. Send him a printer. <laughs> that would be cool. All right. So I've added four sections. I'm going to make this one a little taller. After I've added all these walls, I will connect those. And then that'll probably be it. Then I can fill the whole thing in and make it look solid. This is already looking pretty good. Maybe not to you guys, but I know where I know what the end result looks like. And it's decent. I mean, I know I did that that cat pen. I tried to do a kangaroo, and it ended up looking... No, I was trying to do a llama, and it looked like a kangaroo mixed with a llama. Mixed with, like, an emu or something. I don't know. Okay. So I drew my four sections. Did a quick fill. Added lines, walls in between those. And now I'm going to fill those in to get eight distinct sides, which leads to a pretty round looking shape. So now it's time to fill all of these in. This part takes a bit of patience. And unfortunately, I wish I could read comments while I'm doing this, but it's literally impossible. I have to focus on what I'm doing. Uh, live streaming is hard. Have I complained about it enough yet? Okay, I'll take a break. Take a break. Katrina, I've actually... I did that too. Before I even knew 3D pens existed, I just used hot glue guns. And I would plug it in until it, the glue started to melt, and then I would unplug it so that it would cool down a bit so that it would dry a little faster. And I would keep plugging it in and out and try to build things with it. 3D pens are tough, but it's a lot harder to make something with 3D or with a hot glue gun. Good night, Becca, from England. I'm sure it's late enough over there. Um, this live stream will be available, hopefully. The last time I did a live stream, like YouTube's supposed to save it automatically, but last time it just gave me an error and it said, sorry, you couldn't do it. Just couldn't do it, couldn't make it. Your live stream's gone forever. That sucked. Hopefully this one will be saved, not that it's glorious or anything but I mean shoot for those of you who have to sleep I would like for it to be available for you to watch in the morning or whenever you want do I recommend the CR10 to beginners I'll say yes it it's not a it's not a printer that you have to build really it's really easy assembly of course, you have to learn how to use a slicer and prepare your models for 3D printing, but you're going to have to do that with almost any 3D printer that's worth it. And you will have a lot of failed prints, but you'll learn with every failure. So there's nothing wrong with failure if you learn from it. All right, let's keep filling this in. I'll tell you, this 3D Mate Duo pen, no, it's not a Duo, it's the 3D Mate 1. Sounds like it's going to die. It sounds terrible. Not terrible, but it sounds like it's struggling. But it's actually working really well. I like it. This pen is... As long as it doesn't die, it's great. And I'd actually be surprised if it didn't die because it, I'm going for like hours and not printing for 10 minutes and then going back and forth. Eh. What's up? All right. Filling it in, filling it in. 
See, that's the thing. It takes long enough to do a 3D pen thing, but then to also do a 3D pen thing and to read comments and interact with the live stream, that's a whole nother level. This is... That's why it takes me forever to get something done. Oh, and I just realized you can't even see what I'm doing. Used to make stuff with aluminum paper. Speaking of that, you could actually, like, with this, for example, you could crumple up aluminum foil to make the shape of the body and then go over it with a 3D pen. That might be easier. Ugh. But this is working out. It really sucks that, <laughs> I mean, obviously I can't live stream to everyone at the same time of day, but it really sucks because I know there's a lot of people in Europe who are watching this and it's super early in the morning. It's just a real bummer when it comes to live streams. I don't want to exclude countries just because we don't share the same time zone, you know? All right. So, yeah, right now I'm filling it in. I'm doing, like, the dense fill. I might add a few... Um, a few more subdivisions, as I call them. I might add a few more just to make it a little more round. But this is pretty much the final step for creating the form. And it's super easy, but it does take time. Just going back and forth. I'm filling everything in. And even though I created like eight walls, I go over two at a time. So I'm kind of doing this dense fill for four sections, if that makes any sense. I'm going over like two, I'm filling two faces at once. It's hard to see what I'm doing, but there you go. See, like here, I've got a wall, a wall, a wall. And then with those three walls, I go over all of them back and forth. So I'm kind of getting two faces at once. That's what I'm trying to say. So I did three, and I've got one more down here at the bottom. What are we making? We're making a... Did I forget what it's called again? An oryx? It's an oryx. It's a goat with really long horns. And it's cool. And I used a random animal generator, and that's what it told me to make. So I'm going to fill in the last face here. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> I said we might be doing three animals. That's definitely not going to happen. Maybe if I just sat here in complete silence and did nothing but focus on this. But then that wouldn't make a very exciting live stream, I think, for most of you. Some of you might like it, but... I want to actually read comments and talk to you guys, too. It's hard to do it all. Do, do, do. Right now, so you can see how fast I'm going. I know I'm not showing you the best view of what I'm doing, and the lighting isn't amazing, but you can see I'm going pretty fast, and that's the slowest setting on this pen. So... It's actually perfect for me, but I feel like if you're a total beginner, it might be a little bit too fast. But hey, there we go. It's not super filled in, but it's a pretty solid looking shape. And that is the body of the Oryx. So next we're going to draw legs. We're going to maybe make the neck a little longer and draw the head, draw the horns. But <laughs> I need to take a bathroom break. That's what happens when you drink 32 ounces of a slushy. So, y'all yeah, just chill out for a second. Hold on, let me figure out what I'm doing here.
what's amazing, I remember, I think it was my second live stream when I was assembling my A8. And I did a 10 hour live stream without a single break for the bathroom or for food or anything. I give myself props for that. <laughs> and I will never do that again. But time flies when you're live streaming. I can't. Well, actually, yeah, I'm surprised it's only been an hour or so. I'm pretty surprised. Okay. Um, I will be back in just a second with an empty bladder. Wait. Uh, uh, okay. Now. Bup, bup, bup. All right, I'm back. I don't know if that worked. All right, I'm going to read comments for a second because I've been uh, too focused on what I'm doing. Even though I am trying to get stuff done. Ah, I left the pen on. I'm actually going to be very impressed if this thing doesn't burn out. Because most... Uh, most 3D pens, they'll say, don't use it for an hour straight. And I use it for several hours straight. Dylan, I've never made a printer from scratch. I've done the really cheap kits, like the ANET A2 and the A8, which require you to do a lot of assembly, but I've never built one completely from scratch with my own design or anything like that. It would be fun to do sometime, especially since I'm slowly collecting parts from all the printers that just suck. I can probably combine those to make a decent printer. Captain Soldier, randomly recommended to watch this live stream. Well, thanks for joining, even though you don't know why, and maybe you'll subscribe. I've got some, I've got some cool videos. I'll say that. I try to be humble, but I think I got some cool videos. Check them out. Hello, Broad in Your Mind from Frankfurt. I was just in Frankfurt last year for Form Next, the 3D printing convention. It was super fun. I like the city. My first printer was a MakerBot Replicator 2. A lot of people trash MakerBot, which is kind of warranted because they... Uh, Used all these open open source designs and then uh, created a closed source company. Let me finish this drink. It's practically done. What's the best and cheapest 3D printer? Well, that's that's a hard question to answer. Do you want the best printer or do you want the cheapest? Which one do you want?
No, Philip, I will not do a two-headed oryx as cool as that would be. It's taken me long enough to do a single-headed one. Philip so, Angelina, welcome to the chat. We're drawing an oryx. Right now it's just a lumpy white potato, but soon this will be a longhorned goat thing. I keep calling it a goat, but um, I'm not sure. Diamond Explosion. I am based in Southern California, but right now I am in Louisiana, New Orleans, for business. And that's why I'm in a hotel. Hence the ugly uh, curtain and wallpaper. It's just like the generic hotel wallpaper, right? I feel like they can do better. All right, let's make sure this thing's working again. Still working. Strange 13, you're 12 years old and refing soccer games for money so you can buy a 3D printer. Which one should you get? Well, if you're just trying to get... Uh, I always want to recommend the CR10, but if that's too expensive, um, Delta printers, which is a type of printer, the Delta style printers seem to be cheaper because there's a little less parts involved. The Anycubic Costal Pulley is the cheapest printer I've reviewed on my channel, and it's pretty great, 180 bucks or so. I wouldn't really try to get a printer cheaper than that. And really, it's almost worth spending like $300 dollars or more on a printer because a spool of filament costs thirty dollars and you're gonna go through those pretty quickly so if it's if three hundred dollars for a printer is too expensive maybe you should wait before buying a 3d printer and before you have a 3d printer you can always use a service like shapeways or 3d hubs and out like send your files to someone else to 3d print and that's a cheaper way to get started. You can learn to model for free, you know, Fusion 360 is free. So before you even get into 3D printing, I would learn how to 3D model. Because that's what really makes 3D printing worth it. All right, let's keep on working on this Oryx. I've got a body, a very rough body. Um, let's do some really quick arms and legs. Even though the head is the exciting part, we're going to do the arms and legs to just get it done. Um, it's got it, the legs work pretty much like a goat or a horse. Kind of got these rrr, 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 that kind of thing going on. Hey, not bad, not bad. I like to go over the lines a few times to make them nice and sturdy. Yeah, seems pretty good. It's, sometimes it's hard to make it proportional when you're drawing the different parts separately. But this time it worked out, and I'm going to draw two legs and just make them slightly different. So normally an animal, you know, they'll have like one foot in front of the other, so this one will kind of go straight down like that. And I accidentally embedded one of my hairs into my work. So my DNA is forever preserved in this. So there we go, the back legs and the front legs are more straight. You got a good, I don't know if it's still called a thigh, if it's the front leg, but nice big thigh, and then a little like joint there, and then the foot. That seems pretty good. And in my drawing, at least, they just got two front legs like that, so just straight down. I'll make another one. All right. Not great, but also not bad. I'll take it. So there we got the four legs. And we'll give them a little bit of something before we attach them. I'm just going to keep them stuck down, and I'm kind of going to draw half of them. Well, will that work? No. I'll draw the half that's facing out, but that means half of these I have to turn around. Or at least one of these. I'm going to turn this guy around. 
there. Ooh, this is gonna be confusing. Um, blah, 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 is that yeah? Okay. So I'm just gonna draw half of the thickness. Let's see if I can stick this down again. I'm going to kind of do a parting line here. There we go. I'm just going to draw a line down the middle, and that's going to let me... I'm going to build that up so that I can add thickness to this leg. I want to build it up quite a bit, especially here on the thigh where it's thicker. Let's go back and forth, back and forth, and build it up. It's pretty good, and while that's cooling down, I will do the same thing on this leg. Middle line. Build it up. Build it up. And you know, I guess it definitely depends on the person, whether this is something you would enjoy. Me, I kind of like mindless tasks like this. I could do this all day. It's up to you to decide if it's something you would enjoy or not. There we go, good, good build up. Let's do it here too. All right, good night, everyone. I know a lot of you are up super late. I appreciate that you stayed with me this long, even if you've got to go. I know how it is. We've all got lives to live. But I hope I can do these live streams more often. I did get a second monitor back at home so that I, it's a little easier for me to do live streams. I really want to make it a more regular thing because I have fun doing them. Even though I feel like I really suck at it. You guys <laughs> you can let me know. How are my live stream skills? Is it something worth doing? So we're building these up, building them up. We got a real fat thigh here, so we want to make it a little taller here. At the fat thigh part. There we go. And it stays soft for a while, you know, so you can kind of like move it around. I'm glad you guys are having fun. Woo! I should not be so loud. Well, it's only 8.46 here. I was worried about, like, annoying people in other rooms, but it's not that late. I'm making deal with it. All right, so we got all the legs, and now I'm just... Um, I could fill them in now and then stick them on, or I could stick them on and then draw. It's usually easier to finish it before you stick them together. So I'll do a little bit more before I stick it on. I'll at least fill in the one side. Give it a flaming tail. Isn't isn't real life extreme enough? You need me to put my animals on fire. The oryx is cool enough as it is, man. Adam, I see your message. <laughs> oh, Chris is backing you up, Philip. He wants a flaming Oryx tail. Then it literally becomes a Pokemon. Um, you know what? How about this? We'll see how this turns out. If it actually looks like an Oryx, then we'll let it be an Oryx. But if things start getting a little wonky, then I can turn it into some kind of crazy imaginary animal. Or I can just do that. If that's what you guys want, I mean, it's actually easier. Shelby giveaway. Um, I don't have one specifically planned right now, but oh, I'm almost out of filming. I probably will do a giveaway for 250,000 subscribers, which is coming up. Which is crazy. So yeah, you know, share my whatever your favorite video of mine is. You should share it to your friends who would be interested. Get me to 250. Thousand subscribers a little bit faster, and then I can do more giveaways. Maybe you can win a printer if you're super lucky. Okay.
let's fill in these legs a little bit more and then we'll stick them on. So I'm just going to do this one side and I'm going to do the same thing, just going back and forth. Uh, waiting for it. There we go. I'm just going to go all the way over. Boop, 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 boop. Back and forth. And that's how we get it. Okay. I ran out of filament. Strange 13. Um, you've been making models in Fusion 360, but don't know how to bring your models into Cure. I think you're talking about Cura. Yeah? To bring your models into Cura, on that little menu in Fusion 360 on the left side where you have the drop down menu where you can see the different bodies and sketches and construction and whatever, you can either right click on a body and select Save as STL. Or you can go to the very top of that menu and right click, and you can save the entire thing as an STL. And that STL file is what you're able to bring into Cura and prepare it for 3D printing. <laughs> Suzanne, I am I'm not gonna ask the desk people to read my comments for me. That'd be pretty hilarious, but maybe if I was like, if I had I think I would need at least 3 million subscribers before I felt like I could do that. Sean, what filament brand do I recommend? I'll tell you, this AM AMZ 3D filament is working pretty well for cheap filament. But um, I almost always use Matter Hackers filament, partially because they are local to me. Because a lot, there's tons of filament brands who will sponsor me, and of course, if brands want to give me filament, I'll take it. Because can you blame me? But uh, Matter Hackers, they're really cool folks, and they got like free shipping, and they got really great support. And now they have their Pro Filament, which is really reliable, but they also have their Build Filament, which is also great, probably as good as this stuff. And that's like twenty two. 22 bucks. Oof. I think I'm going to kill this pen because I keep forcing it to stay awake even though it's like, uh, let me cool down. Let me fill in these legs and then maybe I'll let it cool down for a bit while we uh, chat in the chat. Even though it's getting late. This always happens. I try to do, try to be super ambitious. And oh yeah, oh yeah, I'll draw three animals. Yeah, right. This one is more than enough. So I'm just gonna really quickly go back and forth over those legs and get fill that in. Boom. Next. And these are still stuck down, which is nice. It's easier to work with them while they're stuck down. This 3D mat is actually working really well. I wasn't sure if the filament would just stick to it like this. But uh, I definitely like it more than those plastic mats that they sell for 3D pens. Silicone is the way to go. And both this pen and the mat are from 3D Mate, which is a company. Uh, Kaz, the owner, he approached me. He just sent me an email, and he was a really cool guy and wanted my help, and he sent me these in exchange for, like, helping him promote it. And, you know, it's something that a lot of YouTubers struggle with. Like, do you market whatever companies will send you for free, or do you only market the things that you really like? But luckily, when you're at, like, my level, you get enough offers that you can choose the ones that you actually like and only promote those. And I really like this thing. The pen's actually working really well. The mat is a super cool idea. So I'm happy to promote, happy to promote 3D Mate. 
And I know that it could use some sales because it's a pretty small company. As I say that, the pen starts to slow down. I swear this thing is about to explode. I'm going to finish this leg and then I'm going to let it cool down for a bit. And then I'm going to attach all the legs, do the head, do the horns, maybe a flaming tail because that's what you guys are demanding of me. And there, 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 back and forth really quickly. There we go. I'm going to unplug it now. Give it the rest it deserves. Let it cool down and hopefully not die. Whew. Sampy Samson in Australia. What time is it in Australia? I do not know. Adam, I mean, if you're lucky, I can read your comment about what's wrong with your printer, but it's really hard. I'll tell you guys, I love responding to as many fans as I possibly can, but I get so many messages every day about troubleshooting with little problems with printers. And I just want to... I just want to say that's part of the experience. That's part of learning to 3D print. You're going to run into problems. You're going to have a lot of prints fail. And, uh, yeah, so that's something you got to learn from by just tinkering and just a lot of Googling. You get really good at Google when you have 3D printer. My prints are spongy. I don't exactly know what that means. It sounds like maybe it's under extruding. So maybe increase the temperature, slow down the print, increase the flow. It, it could be several things. I would start by slowing down and seeing if that helps. Hey, Nicholas, this is the 3D Mate 1 pen from the makers of the 3D Mat. Which is this really cool mat that has these like grooves. So you can do really cool pixel drawings or perfect circles and things like that. That would normally be really tough to do with a 3D pen. I think it's super cool. I can't get prints off of my build surface on the CR10. Eddie, are you printing on glass? If you're just using the glass build plate on the CR10, you just have to wait for the build plate to cool down. And then the prints will literally just like, you just take them off. They're not stuck at all anymore. If you try to take them off right after the print is finished, yeah, they'll be really stuck on there. And that's kind of the point. So that they don't come off while you're printing. Just let the, let the build plate cool down and you'll be good. Enrique, I haven't made any more upgrades for my CR10. Nope, I have not. Is there something I should make? I don't know. It works pretty well for me. Creative director, you had a clogged scribbler, took it apart, and then it worked great. Awesome. Yeah, my first scribbler actually did. It broke. I don't even know how to explain it, but like, it broke, and I took it apart, and messed with it and it fixed it. 3D pens are actually pretty simple. So besides the hot end, as long as you have a 3D pen that where they sell replaceable hot, hot ends, fixing the rest of it, you can kind of do it yourself. So pens like the Lix pen, the Lix pen looks super cool, but they don't sell replacement hot ends. And that's a bad sign. I know I gave it a decent review. I did mention that. But like by now it died and there's nothing I can do about it. I can't fix it. The scribbler, I did have my first scribbler die and you just plug in a new hot end and it works again, which is awesome. Gormand, the discount code for the CR10 on my website is expired. Shucks. Um, I don't have another code right now, but Whenever uh, my associate, or I don't know, I have a contact at GearBest, and occasionally they'll send me discount codes, and I'll always put those up on my website, but uh, I'm not sure if there's any new ones coming up for the CR10. It's a great printer, 
Anyways, have I considered making a DIY pen? I have considered it. I haven't taken any steps to actually do it besides a couple sketches, but I've definitely considered it because there are some cool things that I've thought of and that people have suggested for 3D pens that I think would be really cool that I haven't seen on the market. Specifically, just having like a separate unit because everything with 3D pens, they try to contain everything on the 3D pen and that makes it like the motors have to be very small and the hot end has, they have to like figure out how to not accidentally overheat other things. I think there should be a pen component and then maybe like two feet away from you, there can be a, a hub or something that holds the filament and has the extruder and kind of break that up into two parts so that it works better. So maybe my, maybe I will make a 3D pen of my own. That would be cool, but I'm not a super amazing engineer or anything. Imagination to form the laser pen. I actually haven't touched it since that video, pretty much. I've got so many projects going on. It's always hard to decide whether I'm going to keep working on one thing or move on to the next thing. I am going to get back to the laser pen, but I give it a break, you know? Give it some time, and then I'll bring it back and put in all those cool ideas that everyone suggested. Scribbler Nano Review. A lot of people have asked for that, so maybe I will uh, contact the folks at Scribbler. They've been nice to me, and the regular Scribbler is great, so hopefully the Nano is a good pen, even though it looks a lot like the other pens I've tried that are super slim that die because they're trying to fit so much into a tiny package that overheats. So I have no opinion on the Scribbler Nano yet. Uh, Candy Apple Art, my opinion on CAD programs for advanced models, what's my favorite? Free program, 100% Fusion 360. Uh, look up my video, how to get Fusion 360 for free. I don't know. I have a video about how to get it for free. If you are a hobbyist, if you're using it for just hobby, or if you're even a startup making less than $100,000 a year, which is most of us, then you can uh, legally get Fusion 360 for free. And some people complain about it, but I don't know why, because I can do everything I want in Fusion 360, and I love it. I don't have a TiVo Black Widow. Um, I got a Tarantula, I got the Little Monster, and I got the Tornado, but no Black Widow. And yeah, so far I only reviewed the Tornado. The Tarantula is... Pretty low end, and I kind of, I don't know. I don't exactly recommend getting a printer if you can't afford a printer that's $200 or more. If $200 is above your budget, it might not be time for you to get a 3D printer just yet. But you should definitely learn how to 3D model for free. And then when you finally can get a 3D printer, you'll be pro. That's, that's the route I recommend. How many 3D printers do I have? I don't know. <laughs> Which is crazy. It's silly. I never, ever, ever thought I would be able to say, I don't even know how many 3D printers I own. But I think I have something like 15. 10 to 15 by now. I've I sold a few recently. Patch, was I born creative? Um, no. I want to say no, but um, I was definitely encouraged to be creative at a very young age, which helps. And I, like, realized that I enjoy it. I, I've been drawing since I was five or six years old, and I didn't stop. And, um, yeah, it's one of those questions that's hard to answer, like, my line of thought. I think creativity is really just um, being willing to think of things that are kind of absurd. Creativity is just trying to think of things that people would normally be like, no. But when you're creative, you're like, probably no, but maybe, maybe. 
if that makes sense. If you have an idea, don't dismiss it immediately. Almost always you can make things work or figure out how to make things useful. I don't know. Hey, Jort, you have the same name and you love my channel. Sweet. <laughs> Two things we have in common. What's the best way to make money from 3D printing? It's tough. It's tough to make money from 3D printing. I was talking about this with the folks from my mini factory, and like they said, like, yeah, we look at who's making money from 3D printing. It's basically people who are on YouTube, like me. Um, it's hard to sell 3D models when there's thousands of 3D models already available online, even though the quality can be really bad. I don't know. I sold 3D models for a while with limited success, and then I started using My Mini Factory, their studios program, which pays you for using for giving out files for free on their website, which so far has been the best way that I have uh, been able to make money from 3D modeling. And then, of course, there's YouTube. Thanks, NJ Printing. Glad you're fans. I love all my fans. Of course. Why wouldn't I? Have I been using that 3D printer that is in the background on my trip? I just got here, but I'm going to be using this 3D printer tomorrow. Hopefully. I have to make it work. But I did assemble it. it it's pretty much ready to go. I'm not worried. How do you fix the problem of not having a 3D printer? Well, you're probably young enough that you've got plenty of time. 3D printers are going to keep getting cheaper. And um, all I can say is I will pretty much always recommend that you first learn how to 3D model and get pretty good at 3D modeling before you get a 3D printer. Because as fun as it is to 3D print random files from online, you really get the use out of a 3D printer when you can design your own files. That's like when it becomes infinitely better because then you're like oh I need to design a thing to put my phone over my outlet so I could charge my phone or something like that something super specific and you can make it even though no one else needs it you need it and you can make it boom 3d printing it's awesome <laughs> uh, my education background I studied product design at Arts Center College of Design so I got product design experience. And 3D printing is a very popular way to uh, prototype models. But I just got into uh, I just got into it fully. Oh, and my dad just texted me and said I have 23 printers. So I, I guess he just counted and I was a little bit off. No way. I don't believe that. I don't have 23 printers. I don't believe that. Okay. It's getting late, late, late. So I'm going to plug the pen in again. It's cooled down. Hopefully it's had its rest. I'm going to fire it up again, and we're going to finish this guy. And that's going to be the only animal I make today. Sorry, but it takes longer than you'd think. Um, da, 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 da. I haven't tried the FL Sun Castle Delta... They've tried to get me to review it a few times, but I just didn't have the time to do it. So I can't say. Seems decent. If only I could 3D print food recipes. Soon. I think I might be able to 3D print food pretty soon. I have a printer that might already be able to do that in the works. Adele, um, 3D printing affects the electricity bill, but not by that much. And I don't know the specifics, but I read online that like, It'll only affect your electricity bill by a handful of dollars. No more than $10 a month for one printer. 
and that's if you're running it constantly. So I wouldn't worry too much about electric electricity costs. Logical waste. Yes, Joel did have a candy 3D printer. And I designed some candies for him to print, but I, I don't know what happened to that printer. He never got around to it. All right. The printer's, uh, the pen's back up. Let's attach these legs. Yeah, did you remember? Remember we're making this? <laughs> oh, man. All right. So I'm just going to put it in place and then just hold it there and then just throw on a glob of hot plastic. It's that easy. Hold on. Which way does this go? There we go. Glob of hot plastic. Oh, no. I accidentally was retracting. Wrong way. A solar panel for your 3D printer. That sounds awesome. Respect. Mad respect for that, dude. All right. I think the foot, the back leg will just go right here. I'm not going to try to be... Oh, no, I'm going backwards again. I keep pressing the wrong button. There we go. I'm just going to draw one leg there. Oh, no, that's wrong. That's wrong. Oh, okay, never mind. This thing is such a potato, I couldn't figure out what's up. And I kind of did it wrong, but it'll work. <laughs> I'll fill that in. <laughs> yeah, I definitely stuck this leg on what was supposed to be the spine, but now this is the spine. This is what happens when you take a 20 minute break. Now I'll put the second leg on, on the other side here. Now I'm using the highest speed. And it's super nice to be able to go that fast when I know what I'm doing. Now while it's still kind of warm, I can bend it to make this thing stand up. Looks pretty good. Philip, thanks for the tip. He's got the Costle Linear Plus. And now you're switching to Fusion 360. Yeah, SketchUp is not the best <laughs> when it comes to 3D printing. There's ways to make it work, but um, solid modeling programs are the best for 3D printing. SketchUp is not a solid modeling program. Fusion 360 is, and that's why it works a little bit better. I mean... I, I actually started out using SketchUp too. Because back then it was the only, it was the most powerful free software that I found. But now that I know how to get Fusion 360 for free and I learned how to use it, that's definitely the one I go with. Every time. Let's make this leg a little bit 3D. Oh, sorry. You can't even see what I'm doing. Anyways, I'm trying to get a little quicker here. I'm trying to get done with this boring part so we can work on the head finally. Bop, bop, bop. Three legs down. See, it's all coming together. 
That's what I'm talking about. You draw the individual lumps. They just look like lumps, but then they come together, and suddenly you have a real 3D pen animal. All right, see ya, Chris. I don't know if I'll have a video on this. I don't know how to edit, like, whoa. It's all, like, wobbly since I was, it got soft from using the 3D pen. It's kind of cool. If it gets hot enough, it gets soft again, and then you can kind of re-bend things into shape. I kind of bent this so it stands a little better. Lightball, the 3 d Simo Mini 2, I have it, but I don't think I'll do a specific review for it. It's basically the same as the number one. As far as I can tell, it's the same, except it has a ceramic tip instead of metal. So maybe it's a little more reliable, but as far as the function, it's exactly the same as the regular 3 d Simo Mini. So I don't think the review would be very different from my original review for the 3 d Simo pen. I did try the 3D Simo Basic, which is the other new pen from that company, and I, it didn't work. Couldn't get it to work. I don't know if I just got a bad one or what happened, but it died on me right away. Didn't even have time to make a review. Alright, I just added a little bit of thickness to the other side of the leg before I stick it on. Cause it gets a little tough. And I got all these legs. Now we'll go ahead and glob it on there. Hey Lexi, my biggest fan. I bet there's other fans who would argue with that. How do I know who is my biggest fan? All right. We're getting closer, guys. Thanks for sticking with me on this one. We have a standing animal. Boom. Looks kind of weird from that angle, but yeah. It stands. But this really needs a head before where we can truly appreciate it. And the neck needs to get longer. I know it's a really long live stream. Okay, I'm gonna finish it up. I'm gonna finish it up. I'm gonna add a neck right now. Just gonna do the neck first. Just the neck shape like that. This is such a long live stream. But it's been fun. It's been fun for me. I hope you guys are enjoying it, even though. Ooh, I'm gonna sneeze. Ooh. No. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know there's it's kind of all over the place. But I hope you still enjoy it. All right. This is just the neck. I'm going to draw the one half of the first, and then I'll take it off and draw the other half. And then I'll draw the head. Actually, I'll draw the head right now. Whatever. The head. It's easy enough. Just an oxal head. It's just like... Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whew, this thing's getting hot. Oryx, not an arc. This is an Oryx. I keep forgetting the name of the animal we're drawing. Give it some ears. Hold on, I gotta make sure the horns. Yeah, the horns are on the inside. The ears pop right out. They go way out like that. You got pretty big ears. Fill those in.
See that? I'm making progress, guys. I'm being quick. We've only been in this live stream for nearly two hours by now. No big deal, right? Give me some stumps for the horns. Sit bridging. Make sure to get a nice, good fill on the head here, because that's what everyone's going to be looking at, is the head of the animal. That's what draws the attention, right? So get that filled in pretty good. The neck here, I round that out a little more. Oh, this thing's getting really hot. i got to be careful not to, like, put my finger too close to the front of the pen, or it gets burnt. Good looking half of a neck though. <laughs> this is the only animal I'm making today. I'm sorry. I know I promised three animals, but there's no way. No way it's happening. Oh my gosh. I just realized that my laptop wasn't even plugged in. I was almost out of batteries. The mat I'm drawing on is the 3D Mate. 3D Mate mat. What a name. 3D Mate mat. The silicone mat. I'm just using the back of it right now. But it's already useful. But uh, on the front, it's got grids and stuff to help you draw geometric shapes. Check out my video on the voxel sphere. Check out my video on 3D pen fidget spinners. Remember those things? Made those with this 3D mate mat. The animal I'm drawing is a oryx. Right now it doesn't look like it, but it will soon. All it takes is those distinctive horns. How many pens do I have? I think I have maybe six or so 3D pens. I don't, I have more 3D pens than I use. I'm going to give some of them away. Ooh. Because I mostly just use my scribbler. My three doodlers died, which is sad. But I got several of these 3D mate pens, which are really cool. And I will probably do a giveaway of some of them very soon. Now that I see that they work. Let's go ahead and finish up the neck here. <laughs> I'm trying to finish. And if you can't... I know... If you gotta sleep, sleep. If you got school in the morning, by all means, don't let me keep you up. I will post the result somewhere. Although I appreciate the support, I don't want to be keeping you guys up. If you don't, if you shouldn't be up. All right, let's attach the neck now. I am almost done, though. Gear guy, um, what wires did I use? I think I used the audio wires, like speaker wires. I don't know. I honestly just looked for cheap wires on Amazon. Any kind of electrical wire would work.
Oh, it's it's a perfect time in Australia. That's cool. I would have thought it's some random time over there. <laughs> at least it's con at least it's a convenient time somewhere in the world, right? All right, we got the neck on there. We got part of the head done. I I'm can I can fill out the back here. We're getting there, guys. Yeah, we're getting there. The horns will be the exciting part. Just gonna add some thickness to the back here. But I'm gonna have to get some dinner. Hopefully not everything around me is closed. I will starve tonight. I'm not doing it all white, but I'm doing the whole base in white. I will finish it up with another color. It should be brown or black, but I don't have those colors, so it might be purple. <laughs> I feel like purple is the closest color I can use. That sort of accurate. Well, fill in the head there. Make the ears a little bit thicker. Hey, again, I just want to say thank you everyone who's joining me. Thank you, Flavored Soup. I really appreciate the tips. <laughs> I don't know if there's a Denny's near me. I don't know if I want it. I've definitely had my Denny's days, but you gotta be in a very special mindset for Denny's to actually taste good. <laughs> All right, let me just fill this in a little bit more. All right, all right. We're getting there. We're getting there. I know I've said that over and over again, but I actually, the end is actually in here. Hey, Mix Rampage. That's awesome. Yeah, the Any Cubic i3 Mega is a great printer. I'm so glad you're loving it, and I'm so glad that I got you in the 3D printing. Great to hear, dude. All right, that is enough of a head for me. I'm going to do a little bit of clipping. Where's my clippers? Here we go. Get rid of that extra stuff. Good. Um, yeah, I didn't really think this through. I wanted him to be looking sideways, but the neck's kind of coming straight out. Will this work? I put it on like that. I'm just going to kind of destroy this a bit, but only a bit. I'm going to cut some chunks off here. Gah, gah, gah. 3D pens are fun because you can fix things quickly. You can destroy stuff and fix it again. Sorry to the hotel service for leaving little bits of plastic. Just kidding. I'll clean it up. I'm a good boy. Do, do, do. 
So yeah, I just need to cut away from here a bit, make some room for the head. There we go. Woo! Let's stick it on there before I change my mind. Finish this darn thing. Yep, I'm in a hotel. I'm in New Orleans, far from home. And that's why I actually have time to do a live stream, because I'd normally be running between my 3D printers right now. But, since I'm here, there we go. Stuck the head on there. Isn't that cute? But it's, right now it's just like a lamb. Once it's got those horns, it's an oryx. And it's going to have some patterns on the head, too. And I don't know what the tail... They do sell separate tips for the um, scribbler pen. I mean, they're the same pen, but you can get replacement head tips. All right, yeah, let's just go ahead and switch colors. I could fill this in a bit more, but honestly, it's been, it's been long enough. Let's switch out the colors. Ugh. Miles Martin, what should I do to get money? You should find out what you love and put a lot of work into getting really good at that. If you're really if you're passionate about something, that shows through your work and people will appreciate you and pay for it. Usually. If you're actually good. <laughs> Right. See, I don't have many colors. The closest thing I have to brown or black is the purple. So it's going to be purple. I've already decided. No time to dwell. Make sure to clip the end before you feed it into your pen. Whatever the pen is, you want to have it clean cut before you feed the next one in. Woo! We're almost done, guys. Okay, shout out to everyone who actually stuck through this whole stream with me. It's not easy. What's my favorite color? It depends. My favorite color depends on the context. Because, like, my favorite color to wear is different from my favorite color to draw with versus my favorite color to print with, maybe. I don't know. I really like printing with light gray. Like the color that's in my printer right now, I really like a good light gray. It's subtle, and it just looks classy. I like to wear green. I like to draw or paint with cerulean blue. At least that was my childhood favorite color. I actually like to draw with black and white because I like strong contrast, and you literally cannot get a stronger contrast than drawing with black and white. So I really like drawing with just pen. So... Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> I don't have a favorite color, I guess. All right, we're going to draw some horns for this Oryx. Make this Oryx an Oryx. Ready for this, guys? Ready for what we've all been waiting for with those darn horns. How long do I make them? I feel like i got to make them a little bit extra. These are going to be some real Oryx horns. Oh, when do I stop? When do I stop? Oh, my gosh. Okay, that was a bit long. <laughs> but maybe not. I don't know. Maybe like that. That's actually long, but 
I think it works. It's a super oryx. The pen's having a little more trouble with this filament. It's going a lot slower. So I'll do a quick back and forth to fill that in. And then I'll draw the other one at the same time so that I can make them pretty symmetrical. Man, that, this took a while, huh? This took a while. I always think, I always underestimate how long the 3D pen drawing takes, but it is truly an act of patience. That is for sure. But you know what? I killed the day. I killed the time that I had to spare. So, mission accomplished. Definitely. All right. Let me try to get the back side of these two. Fill them in a little tiny bit. Make it more 3D. Although it's tough with something this thin. Let me just hold it at the end here. Ah, ah. There we go. That looks good. That looks good. We got an Oryx horn. Oryx horn. Everybody is excited. Maybe. Or maybe they're just tired. I'm excited. Oops. What do you guys think about this whole live stream deal? Does it work? Am I cut out for the job? Should I keep up the live streams or should I just be doing something else? <laughs> All right, we got the horns. That's exciting. Those are going to look cool. Yes. I'll have them bend. I think they go backwards. I know they have a little bit of a curve to them. Yeah, it looks like they go outwards, but the curve goes backwards. Yes. And it stands. I love when it stands. I'm just going to do a big blob here so I can really smush it into place. And I'll hold it there for a minute. Oh, didn't hold it there long enough. Right, not bad. A bit blobby, the connection. Connection can be tough. Especially when you have two different filament brands. Sometimes they don't want to stick together so well. You gotta make sure it's nice and hot. Alright, let's get the second one on there.
Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What was that? <laughs> there we go. It's an Oryx, guys. It's actually an Oryx. I'm still going to do a little bit more. You have some detail on the face. I kind of like just the the simplicity of just being white and purple. I think it's kind of nice. I think I'll stick with that. Let's just do some quick details, and then I'll do some Q&A until you guys are totally bored of me. Because those of you who stuck through it with me, you deserve for me to hear you out. I do wish I had some black filament, at least for the eyes, to make the eyes really stand out. I don't know what to do about that. It's just all going to be purple, though. Big purple dot eyes. See how quickly that comes together in the end? Just a little bit of extra color. There we go. And they do have some stuff along the legs and no, oh, the tail. He needs a tail. I'll draw that down here. I'm sorry, I'm not doing the flaming tail. I know you guys were rallying for it, but I just don't think... I like the simplicity. That's all. I like the simplicity of white and purple. It's kind of a cool and less common color combination. But now that I'm seeing it, I actually really like it. Purple and white is a very cool color combination. Purple usually gets paired with, like, black, you know? The kind of... To be a kind of phantom-ish color. But black and purple definitely works. Oh, that's a sad tail. We need more. We need more on that. Ah. It's always one of those challenges to decide when to stop, you know? You get so far, you spend so many hours, and then you're like, ah, oh, when am I actually done? And then usually you go a little farther than you wish you would have. Usually you take it a little bit too far. I'm trying not to do that, and that's why I decided to just stick with two colors. That simplicity will pay off in the end. The pen is slowing down. I think it might just make it to the end of this project, and then it might be pooped. I, I torture my 3D pens, I tell you. There we go. Stick it on the butt. I'm with ya. Thanks for supporting me, Patch. I can't guarantee a date for the pixels, but if you made a request, your pixel will get made. And the method, I mean, moving forward, I'm going to I think I'm going to change the way things work. As far as getting a pixel made. I think right now is the best deal. <laughs> you can get a pixel for pretty cheap. But as always, like, I hope you're supporting me 
because you actually really like what I do and not just to get a pixel. Cause that's that's what it that's what it's about, you know? <laughs> Oh man, this pen is really slowing down. But hey, look at him. Oh, he's kind of cute. He's a kind of cute dude. Let's give him some hoofs. And that's it. Hoofs and that's it. I'm just going to use a spiral technique on the bottom here. Oop. This purple really doesn't want to stick to the white. Interesting. You come across this every now and then with certain filaments. They don't want to play along together. I'm just going to do little circle hooves like that. I'll press it flat. Boop, boop, boop. This is a great way to make it stand up straight at the end is to finish up with something like this. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared for this pen. I need this thing tomorrow. Don't die on me. Oh, it's so close to dead. Oh, I think I missed a... RC King, thank you for your tip. I almost missed you. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm, it's tough, this live stream thing. I wish I could, you know, I want to pay attention to you all of you guys, but I know you also want to see me doing something, right? You don't just want me staring at the comments the whole time, so it's, it's a matter of finding the balance. But yeah, I, if anyone tipped me and I missed you, thank you so much. Of course I appreciate it like crazy. Well, that just fell off. I'm having trouble getting all four feet to stand down. So, here's the situation. Like, I got three feet that are firmly planted on the ground. And then I got one that's standing up. And what I would... Oh, my gosh. This purple doesn't want to stick. I lost a tail. Oh, boy. Oh, no. If I was at home, I would heat this leg up with a lighter and just bend it to make it touch the ground. But I can't do that here in a hotel room. Let me stick the tail back on there. Just about done, guys. Oh, the pen, the pen. We got a train. We got a train passing through outside of my window. Out here in New Orleans, where I'm at tonight. Burp, burp, burp. All right. I might work on that a little more, but I think that's pretty good. As Sarah said, it's 11.20 p.m. where she is, and it's a lot later for a lot of you. It's almost 10 here, so... I'm going to wrap it up. We got an Oryx. It's, I, I'm, yeah, it's not my most super impressivist. Wow, that was the worst butchering of the English language. It's not my most impressive 3D pen model ever, but it's what I managed to do in this live stream while trying to talk to you guys at the same time. Hey, and I finished it, right? I finished one animal, even though I said I might do three. Yeah, right. We'll keep him. We'll keep him. I wish he could just chill out here. Ah, oh, and this pen. This pen needs a break. But hey, thanks, guys. Manuel, I might make an axolotl. Axolotl. Am I saying it right? I might, might make one of those salamander dudes, because I really like them, too. Maybe I'll make a video out of that someday. But anyways, there's so much that needs to be done. Boo, boo, boo! Ah. Well, I'm tired. And I still gotta go out, get myself dinner, 
get ready for an actual work day tomorrow. Instead of just fooling around with you guys, as fun as this was. All right. Whew. Should we do a little Q&A until 10? 10 minute Q&A and then sign off. Thanks for subbing, Nathan. I don't know how. I mean, thanks to YouTube for showing this live stream to people who aren't already subbed. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I understand you guys. It's late. You got to get to sleep. Sleep is important. I know I don't do it enough, but that doesn't mean I can't tell you that it's important. Everything analog. I'm designing keycaps key for a keyboard right well, not right now, but it's happening. Don't worry. It's happening, and hopefully it'll be really cool. Naomi, subbed since 10,000. That's insane. Thank you for sticking around with me for this long. On a scale of 1 to 10, how proud am I of my Oryx? I'm very proud of the color combo. I don't know. I think... The, I'm definitely happy with like the proportion, the legs and the body and everything came out. The face looks kind of derpy, but that's endearing, you know? It's cute. I would say I give him a seven. I think I give him a solid seven. Thanks, Nathan. It is a fun trip. It's already been a fun trip. The fact that I have an excuse to do a live stream with you guys has made it fun enough. Wait, who is that? Who, hey, Tyler, finish your essay. Get off of here right now. Finish your essay. Just kidding. I'm, I'll be done in nine minutes. You can hang out for nine minutes and then finish your essay and write the best essay of your darn life. Give him a name. Well, first of all, this is a female. Not that purple is like a gender specific color, but. I feel like I should, it's a Lady Ox, or Lady Oryx, and her name shall be summoned. Uh, I don't know, someone give me a name. Someone give me a clever name for this Oryx. I'm drawing a blank right now. Lila? Like lilac? 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 How do you say that color? Jeez. What? Oryxa. I kind of thought of that too, like Erica. Erica the Oryx, it kind of works. Sponix. Okay, the names are getting weird, guys. Olivia the Oryx, that kind of works. Forget names. <laughs> I keep asking things of you guys and then just like giving up. I'll figure it out. Anyways, I'm not gonna spend 10 minutes trying to come up with a name. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me for this live stream. It sure was a fun way to kill Two and a half hours. Solid. Solid. I'm going to go run around New Orleans for an hour or so. And then uh, get ready for a work day tomorrow. And get home. Get back to making videos for you guys. Make some really cool content. I already have the video done for Thursday and it's going to be super cool. I'm very excited about it. And I'm very excited about all kinds of other stuff I got coming up. I'm not shaving for 250,000 subscribers. Took me long enough to get this small amount of hair on my face and keep it. There. Thank you, Chris. Have a great night as well. All of you, to all, have a great night or morning or day or whatever, whatever it be for you. Here in America, we just suffered through daylight savings. 
So things are extra crazy time wise. I'm glad you got to study while I was uh, in the background. I hope I didn't distract you too much. Good night, good night. Thank you, everyone. Thank you to everyone who subscribed tonight and everyone who has subscribed since 50,000 or 10,000 or however many. You're awesome. I love you all for just hanging out. Brian, this jacket is from Zara Men. Uh, <laughs> what else is there to say? The bed. I haven't laid down in this bed yet. I don't know if it's comfy. Ready for this expert bed flop? I haven't done anything too silly for you guys, so I'm going to do an expert bed flop, 360 bed flop. It's all right. It's all right. It's not the comfiest bed. I'll be honest. This hotel room, it got paid for, but it's overpriced for what it is. The bed could be softer. <laughs> Hey, Hyde, yes, you should buy a CR-10. I'm never going to tell anyone not to buy a CR-10. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. I was, to be honest, that bed flop, yeah, that was, I think that was a 540. They kind of started this way and ended up. <laughs> All right. I'm actually signing off now. It's always super fun to live stream with you guys. Uh, I know you guys watch all my videos, and it's super cool. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hitting the notification bell. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, thanks for everyone who supports me on Patreon. Thanks for everyone who downloads my files. Thanks for everyone who participates on Make Anything Design on the community. Thanks for everyone who's involved with my channel in any way. You're all part of what makes Make Anything so great. You're part of what inspires me to keep doing what I do. Good stuff. I like what we got going on here, you know? Big things. Keep dreaming big. I'll try to dream big. I hope you dream big. And I'll see you guys next time. Finish it up with another bed flop.